The Collegial Carcinoma Foundation is a foundation that was started 15 years ago to better understand and find answers about a cancer called cholangiocarcinoma, which is bile duct cancer uh, in simpler terms that uh, generally is affects the liver and then uh, potentially other parts of the body. My wife Linda and I lost our daughter Sarah to cholangiocarcinoma after a four and a half year battle in September of 2018. So the, the journey I'm on uh, started out to just be something to memorialize our daughter uh, and it's turned into something much bigger than that. What originally started out as just a, a, a road trip to honor my daughter, um, I realized that I had an opportunity to, to do more with it. Um, so I volunteered through the Colangio Carcinoma Foundation to do a 15,000 mile road trip up, down and across the country, uh, visiting 48 states, visiting at least 15 towns named Hope, uh, I'm now up to 17, uh, as well as the original idea was to visit with 15 different patients and caregivers that were very important to Sarah when she was going through her battle, as well as 15 uh, hospitals or research facilities that are working to find the cure for cholangiocarcinoma. So over time it, it, it just manifested itself into something much bigger than what I originally had envisioned. Yes. So the mission of the foundation is to, in part, to raise funds for research. Um, this year's goal is $150,000, which when you think about other cancers isn't a lot of money. Uh, but you have to start somewhere and it more money is being raised each year and I'm fortunate that as I started this journey it was to build awareness but we have raised uh, $40,000 so far so we're contributing to the to the mission and we have a goal of 45,000 which I feel very confident that we're going to hopefully exceed. <laughs> the, the, the biggest thing that I have found out where the most commonality is when I ask people uh, especially in people that live in towns named Hope what does, it, what does it mean to you to live in a town named Hope? I've heard about how it keeps you perspective, keeps your perspective, makes you present, and I've also heard that from people that have cholangiocarcinoma that have experienced a very busy life until the day they realized they got a diagnosis that is dreadful, and they say, all of a sudden, I became much more present in my life. I appreciate things so much more. Um, and it does give me hope to know that there are others that are out there fighting for me. So that's, that's the common theme that I've heard.